Hi, and welcome to another episode of Legislative Report. I'm State Representative Ryan McKenzie, and this episode, we're at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. It's the 101st Pennsylvania Farm Show, and it's a great event that is held every year here in Pennsylvania to celebrate our agriculture and the community that surrounds it. Right now, I'm joined by the Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding. Thanks Great for joining us, you. sir. Great to see you. Welcome. Absolutely. So you've been enjoying the farm show, and uh, it's something you do every year to the highlight of the agriculture community throughout the year here in Pennsylvania. Tell me a little bit about what we have going on this year. It's been an amazing week. You know, last year we celebrated 100 uh, years and a great century, great show. You know, but there's also something really special about a start of a new century and a chance to really talk about your history, but also look forward a bit. And that's what we're trying to do in this show. Uh, we've done some really interesting things this year with the, the 101 Farm Show, 101st Farm Show. We're doing an Ag 101, uh, playing off sort of the educational okay. nomenclature 101, know a little more, uh, the things you can't really stop and sort of check out in, in, a, in a really detailed way. We're putting that on the stage, uh, talking about alpacas and Pennsylvania barns and hex signs and uh, spotted lanternfly, all kinds of topics. Uh, really great show though, uh, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm for what we're doing. Absolutely, so a lot of great topics there. Why don't you just start by telling me what some of the big agriculture industries are here in the state actually? Yeah, so we, uh, we're, we're, we're first in mushrooms, uh, which is always worth noting and folks are like, really? I mean, yes, it's all in, in sort of southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, we're in the, the top uh, five in dairy, uh, number one in hardwoods, uh, particularly har uh, cherry that comes out of our Allegheny National Forest. It's our number one export out of Pennsylvania agriculturally. Um, you know, uh, uh, beef cattle, grains, uh, fresh markets, uh, it's an amazing list. Very uh, diverse. Very diverse, yeah. Great. Well, so now part of the responsibility of the Agriculture Department, not only to promote our agriculture community, but also make sure that there is food security. So can you tell me a little bit about what you do to make sure that not only we have good tasting food, but also a secure food supply? Yeah, food security is one of those issues that uh, there's a couple of pieces to it. it. At the very core of the department is the public health and safety, uh, which includes plant, animal, and food. And that's a big part of what we do, a lot of emphasis on, you know, the whole food system, if you will. But food security specifically for us uh, takes a couple of forms. One, just at farm level, making sure that, you know, the, uh, the one you can produce, but also that that is done with the highest standards. Uh, and then on the other end is in the charitable food system. And we have uh, responsibilities as a department for the food banks, the soup kitchens, the product that comes out of our, our federal uh, farm programs, you know, that goes into either school lunch or goes into the travel food system. Plus the state is a contributor to that with our own supplemental food assistance program. You've got some great partners in your district that uh, they help us out uh, by private contribution and help distribute that great product. Yeah, and what, one of those programs that uh, plays into that is helping the harvest. Can you talk a little bit about that program? So in uh, just, just the last sort of hunting season, uh, we celebrated a million pounds of venison uh, from Pennsylvania hunters. I mean, this is the amazing thing to me. These little, uh, each of these individuals with their purchase of a license uh, and their success, you know, with, with bagging the game, uh, they have the option to donate that deer or part of that deer to the charitable food system. Wow, that's uh, fantastic. It is an amazing story, 20 so years on. And that goes out to the food banks? All of that protein goes straight out to the food banks and the soup, the soup kitchens and the pantries around Pennsylvania. That's fantastic, what a great program. And now some of the other things you do are, are some things that people might not be aware of. I understand recently you hosted some agriculture officials from South Korea. Tell me a little bit how that came about and what they were doing here. Yeah, so the uh, South Koreans, um, they, they came to uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture in D.C. to talk about trade generally, uh, but they very specifically wanted to talk to Pennsylvania. And our reason for hosting them was to talk about high path avian influenza which was the poultry, uh, the threat of that poultry disease and virus, you know, we had last year, we continue to be on high alert for it. Sure. But their interest uh, is in making sure, that since they are buying Pennsylvania product, is that they felt pretty comfortable with our biosecurity measures, our, our handling of that from a food safety standpoint. So we had a chance to talk to them at length, show them the process. What was really important for them is to know that we had a, a frontline uh, diagnostic system. So this is where when you talk about the appropriations for University of Pennsylvania Vet School, uh, Penn State University in our vet lab as well as the uh, lab here in Harrisburg, they were impressed that that is a real-time 
diagnostic system that the state of Pennsylvania has, not that we're relying exclusively on the federal partners, but actually a state, uh, uh, state mechanism and a, and a state investment. Great. Well, this uh, the we're doing here with the Pennsylvania Farm Show again celebrates agriculture in Pennsylvania. But now going forward, are you, do you have any concerns or are you optimistic about Pennsylvania's agriculture going forward? Tell me a little bit about the what you think about the future of America, uh, Pennsylvania's agriculture. I'm excited about it. I, as I say to everybody, you know, it, it's an industry, it's a business without walls, right? Every bit of business. So the same issues of access to a workforce, access to capital, access to a market, all of those things that are on Main Street, you see right out on the farm lanes, right? So we have a lot of concerns right now about what's going to happen to the economics of agriculture. There isn't a farmer in Pennsylvania uh, who, who uh, wasn't uh, happy about uh, waving goodbye to 2016 because of the economics. We're entering 2017 optimistic. Um, personally, I'm excited about it. I think we've got a great story. We're at the right place in, 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 the, in the geography where you've got 50 million people in this market. Uh, we're in the food business, so access to them has been critical. We've got a great infrastructure, everything from the land-grant university system uh, to the ag businesses that support it, and a great partnership with the legislature and, and uh, our stakeholders, so very optimistic. Great. Well, Mr. Secretary, I want to thank you for your time and thank you for all the work you do for Pennsylvania agriculture. And uh, now we're going to head out. We're actually going to talk to a local business from my district as well as a, a local family who entered a competition here as well. That's great. So, Have fun. All thank the best you, Mr. Thank Secretary. You. Good to see you. Thank Enjoy you. the show. All right, well, we're here now with Roger Can from Cans Bilco, a great local wholesaler and retailer in our community. Roger, thanks for joining us. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit about your business and how it got started? Well, as you said, we are a local uh, retailer for all types of outdoor power equipment, from generators, lawnmowers, and chainsaws, up through bigger chipper shredders and, and tractors. Uh, my dad started the business in 1965, uh, just down the street in McCungee and he moved to our current location in 1979. Great, what, what are some of the bigger lines of business? What's the most common customer that you have or most common product that you sell? Well, it's kind of a step up do-it-yourselfer. Uh, somebody who's got a little bit of a property, they don't want to depend on, on somebody else. Uh, they like to take charge, they've got limited time, but they want to be dealing with, with professional grade tools. So we see that in our, in our Honda line of equipment and also the Kubota equipment. Great. So, like you said, somebody who's doing it themselves, maybe an alpaca farmer or somebody like that who has a little bit more property or a little bit more to deal with? Yes. Actually, we do have some alpaca farmers in the in the local Lehigh and Berks County area. Um, it's not the traditional 150-acre uh, dairy farm or uh, potato farmer that we might think of in, in Lehigh County, uh, but what we'll call the gentleman farmer. Uh, somebody who has relatives uh, in the industry, they have desire to uh, be close to nature and, and see where their food is coming from, or, or they just like to get hands on and when they do a project, uh, they like that satisfaction of having done it themselves. Good, good. Now we're standing in front of a, a beautiful piece of equipment right here. Can you tell me a little bit about this product? Sure. This is a Kubota B2601. Uh, this is a basic utility tractor. We have it on display to show a uh, three-point hitch chipper shredder, uh, but obviously mid-mount mower decks, front-end loaders, all types of snow equipment and backhoes. So this is really something that um, starts with a basic uh, idea of a utility tractor, but there's four seasons worth of uh, jobs that can be done with something like this. Yeah, beautiful piece of equipment. And now you know a lot about these things, Roger. You've been doing this your entire life. You said your father started the company, and so you took over after that? Yeah, I've been here full time since 1987. So um, I was speaking with my dad the other evening and he said uh, he's been here for over 52 years. This is the first 
uh, just since retirement that he started to miss it. But my entire life, I've I've been out at the farm shows, so uh, it's it's nice to see both our local customers here and also uh, customers from out of state uh, who we do business with uh, as they stop down and enjoy Pennsylvania agriculture. Great. Well, thanks again for uh, letting us visit you here at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. Uh, great business with Cans Bilco that you have. So appreciate all the work you do in the community. And thanks again for letting us stop by. Thank you. Appreciate thanks, it. Roger. Enjoy the show. All right, we're here at the next stop on our tour of the Pennsylvania Farm Show. We're in the exhibit hall, and there are lots of great products that are on display here. We're joined right now with uh, L Robert and Laura Draybit from Lower McCungee. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, Laura, you entered into a contest, this bag right here, and you got second place, huh? Congratulations. Thank you. Is this the first time you entered, or have you entered before? I have. You entered before? And how did you get involved in this? Um, Is it something your dad has helped you with, or your mom, or how did you get interested? Dad started it. Oh, good. All right, well, that's great. It's a nice project for father and daughter to work on. And so tell me a little bit about what you drew on the bag here. So I drew a bunny. He was holding his carrot, but then he found a bigger carrot. Oh, okay. So he was holding a carrot, but then he found a bigger carrot. Huge one. <laughs> a, a huge one. Great. Yeah. Now, so how did you come up with that idea? Well, I was thinking about bunnies. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then how they like carrots, and I was like, he should have a bigger carrot. Great. Yeah. That's good. So you like bunnies? Yep, but I like bunnies. <laughs> That's great. Well, it, clearly it was a good idea because you ended up getting second place in the contest here. So congratulations. Thank you. Are you going to enter again next year? Yep. Good. All right. So you got to start coming up with new ideas for another bag for next year. Yeah. All right. Do you, is art your favorite uh, class at school? Yes. Good. Good. All right. Well, that's great. This is a, a great way to get involved in art and merge it with the, the Pennsylvania Farm Show. So we just want to thank you guys for coming out and showing us your entry. And congratulations again and good luck next year as well, Laura. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the Farm Show. That's all the time we have for this episode of Legislative Report. We had a great time at the 101st Pennsylvania Farm Show, speaking with Secretary of Agriculture Russell Redding, a local business, and a local family who all participated in the Farm Show this year. If you weren't able to join us, make sure you come out next year to the Pennsylvania Farm Show. It's held every January here at the Farm Center in Harrisburg. And please join us next time on Legislative Report with your State Representative Ryan McKenzie.